Hey guys, Schlongdog69 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fully unlock your iPhone 3GS to use on any carrier. So mine is now saying no service because it is locked to AT&T in the United States, and I'm not currently in the United States, so it doesn't work with anything other than that. So today I'm going to show you how to unlock it so it does work with anything, any carrier, anywhere in the world. So, uh, I'll just show you that um, I'm on... Um, I was 5.1, 5.1.1, so I'll just show you. So as it says, 5.1.1 here, and that's what you need to be on. I'm not jailbroken currently, so I'm going to show you how to do that now, and move to my PC. Okay guys, the first thing you need to do is open up your browser. And in the description below, I need you to download two files. The first one is Red Snow, uh, 0 0.9.13 div 4, and I've got a link to that in the description. It's from Mediafire. So download that one. Also, uh, there's another link in the description, uh, Felix Bruns, and just scroll down to uh, iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and choose, go scroll down, iPhone, find iPhone 3GS. So 3GS 5.1.1, that's the one we're after, 9B206. Click on that and click download. So it should it's quite a big file, so it might take a while. So I'm not going to download it now. I've already got it downloaded on my desktop. So here we are. Here are the two files that you need. First thing I'm going to need you to do is open up Red Snow and just check it out. You're going to need uh, maybe WinRAR for this. It's a zip file. Open it up and then just start Retina. Okay, so here we are. Now hit Extras and select IPSW Desktop. And we're going to select the um, IPSW that we downloaded from Felix Bruns, which is this one here iPhone 2.1, 5.1.1. Double click on that, and it will say the following build was identified. Okay, now this is an important bit. Uh, if you have purchased your iPhone brand new from a retailer uh, after 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, then uh, hit yes. Uh, also, if go into your about screen and your settings, general about as it says here, uh, and check the serial number, and if it says after the three digits here, 2-6, it'll be 20, the week 26 of 2009, and then read to here, if it was made week 45, so it will say 45 here or later, it'll have a fixed boot on, which is a newer one. So if it says 45 or here, here or later, so 45 or up, you click yes. If it has 45 below, you click no. So my one says 46, which is over 45, so therefore I click yes. So that's all done now. We're going to go back and we're just going to hit jailbreak. It will just take a while. And then hit install Cydia and install iPad Baseband. Make sure you hit that one. Now, this is extremely important. If you bought your iPhone after 2009, brand new from a retailer, uh, you cannot, this won't work with your iPhone 3GS. Uh, if you bought an iPhone 3GS in 2009, uh, when it came out, uh, then you, uh, you're fine. Uh, if it's an 8 gig model and you bought it brand new, then you'll definitely do not do this. It will brick your iPhone 3GS and it will not be usable. So I'm not liable for anything that happens because I've told you here, but make sure you read that and double check that your iPhone 3GS definitely is, definitely, uh, is or was bought in 2009. And mine, mine was, so therefore I click yes. Next, now we go to the iPhone again. And we're going to put it into DFU mode, so 
I'm going to plug my iPhone 3GS in now. There we go. Now, uh, so I turn it off. So, turn it off. So, get rid of it. So, just waiting for it to turn off. And we're going to put it into DFU mode. Hopefully you know what that is, but I'll show you if you don't. And there we go. So next, so hold the power button for three seconds. And then add the home button. We're continuing holding the power button. Screen should flash off. Now release the uh, power button and keep holding the home button until it comes up. And there we go. Now you can release uh, all the buttons. It should exploit the flying rain. So it's just here wait, waiting for reboot. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video. And I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so the process, jailbreaking process has finished on the computer, and now it has began on the iPhone 3GS. So, it's just going to uh, have a bit of code come up soon, and this process on the phone is going to take about 10 minutes to flash the baseband and to install uh, jailbreak and Cydia. So here we go. This is going to go in about 5 minutes, and then it'll come up with a picture of a pineapple man, and that will last about 10 to 15 minutes. If it uh, goes for quite a long time, just be patient. Do not dis uh, You can disconnect your um, iPhone from the computer now. Uh, it won't matter, but just be patient. Uh, let, it, let it do its thing, and once it's finished, it, it should return to the lock screen, and from there, I'll tell you what to do. Uh, I'm going to pause it now because it is going to take quite a while. So, Okay, guys, it's finished. So it probably took about half an hour to complete everything, and uh, yeah, it wasn't too hard. It, I wasn't going to show you that in the whole video. It was half an hour. So uh, here we are. We return to our main screen after the jailbreaking process has finished. It still says no service. However, we are, now we can install a thing through Cydia called Ultra Snow, um, and we can install that now because we've just flashed the baseband to iPad baseband, and it allows us to in install uh, Ultra Snow, which uh, unlocks the phone. Uh, for this you'll need Wi-Fi, so make sure you connect to a Wi-Fi network. Of course, 3G can't be used because it's still uh, locked. So we're going to cross the city here. Tap on it. So your phone is now jailbroken. Um, and yeah, that process has jailbroken it. So if you don't know what that is, it's just, it just allows us to access the phone and uh, download things that wouldn't be allowed if it wasn't jailbroken. Um, you can't get around that. If you want to unlock your iPhone 3GS, then you have to jailbreak it, and this is the only way. So, yes. Now, um, in Cydia, you should come off the home screen like this. Now, just go across and hit search, and type in Ultra Snow. Ultra Snow. Now, um, it's not any of these ones, so just go back a bit. And it's this one here. This one just says Ultra Snow by itself with the round logo. That's the one there. Tap on that. And just hit install. And confirm. Yeah, I'll install that. Now once this is installed, your phone will be unlocked to any carrier. Now restart, and when we restart, hopefully we should see service in the corner with our carrier, whatever SIM card we have in, whether it's a different carrier in the United States or any other country. So there's no searching. I have an add-on for my lock code. Ah, here we go. It's found service. So that's how you fully unlock 
your iPhone 3GS. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Schlongdog69. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, rate, subscribe, whatever. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Thanks for that, guys. See you later.